It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 19th of July. I'm James Spann. Get ready for the hottest weather so far this summer, tomorrow and Friday with mid-90s. But heat levels begin to back down this weekend as rain chances start to go up, especially by Sunday. Check things out. Water vapor satellite view. Large, expansive upper high nosing in from the west. The mid-latitude westerlies are on top of the heat bubble. Check the radar. And as expected, not much out there. That was at 237. A few scattered showers over northwest Alabama, basically west of I-65. And that'll be the case for the next uh, two days. We'll see isolated storms, but not very many. Many places are dry today. Mostly low 90s on the board as expected. Birmingham at 92. But look at Huntsville, 97. Ouch. Up in the Tennessee Valley, and you keep working your way north. How about St. Louis with 100 at this hour? That was at uh, 2 o'clock. And again, uh, we're expecting mid-90s in here uh, tomorrow and Friday. The soil moisture is deep. Keep that in mind, and that's helping to keep the numbers down a bit. But, of course, the dew points are up, so it's just hot. It's summertime in Alabama. Around the nation, that looks like summertime in the United States. A lot of 80s and 90s on the board. We've got excessive heat warnings uh, for cities like St. Louis, Kansas City. Uh, heat advisories surrounding that. Heat advisories for parts of the Mississippi Delta. And again, in Alabama, you'll see Jefferson and Shelby counties highlighted. That is a code orange air quality alert for tomorrow because of ground level ozone. That's for people with respiratory problems. And that's fairly common for days with an upper high overhead. And off in the west, how about flash flood watches for parts of Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Colorado? It's the monsoon season. Severe weather possibilities on top of the heat ridge later today and tonight. Minnesota, Iowa, some of the adjacent states. Pretty much the same deal tomorrow. It's the old ring of fire. And on top of the ring, severe weather possible from Wyoming to New York. And on day three, Friday, again, a slight risk of severe weather for cities like Minneapolis, St. Paul, Chicago, Detroit, and Cleveland. Here's the rain for the next seven days, about one-half to one inch. And uh, we'll see. We might see a little uptick in the number of storms at some point over the weekend. And off in the tropics, dry air covers much of the Atlantic Basin, and that's keeping things quiet. Uh, Don fizzled yesterday very quickly. That's a, an open wave in the southern Caribbean that will not develop. A little wave in the middle of the Atlantic, that will not develop most likely because of the dry air. The bottom line is things will likely stay quiet for a while. So, model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. At 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. We say the 594 circle a lot. That's where the pressure is 500 millibars. That would be 5,940 meters off the ground. And that often represents the hottest weather. And that circle does include Alabama tomorrow. Uh, there's the surface chart. And please understand, there's going to be some storms around tomorrow afternoon. We're not saying there's no chance of rain. We're just saying the storm should be fairly widely separated were isolated during the peak of the daytime heating process. And I will say this, the models have come down on their numbers. Instead of uh, 95, we've got 93 off the GFS and only 91 on the NAM. This is Friday, uh, low 90s off both models. And again, you know, we've seen mid 90s in the past. And also the moisture seems to be a little deeper on this run. Just maybe there could be a slight uptick in the number of scattered storms on Friday. We'll take a look at the OZ uh, runs tonight. And if that uh, trend continues, we'll kind of Hit the chance of afternoon storms a bit harder. And then for the weekend, looks like classic summer weather. Moisture deepens. The ridge weakens. Partly sunny, scattered showers and storms, most of them during the afternoon and evening hours. The high 87 to 90. Same thing on Sunday. No way of resolving the placement of the coverage of the showers and storms. Be aware they'll be out there. They'll be scattered and random. Uh, the GFS printing a high of 89 for Birmingham Sunday. And this is Monday. Same thing. Pretty good moisture. Scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. Upper 80s are likely. Here's Tuesday of next week, and this is Wednesday. And you can see uh, the higher heights off to the west, a little broad trough to the east. And again, that looks fairly dry, but it looks like a fairly typical summertime day. Partly sunny, scattered showers and storms. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, July 29th. We're getting in that really hot part of summer. At the end of July, the first uh, half of August, Nice cool trough over the northeastern states and no evidence of a really nasty heat bubble. That looks pretty standard. And the numbers are looking pretty good coming off the European. The, the GFS is even cooler. I don't buy that, but this looks pretty good. 
You can see the mid-90s potentially uh, tomorrow and Friday, but highs dropping back in the upper 80s for much of next week to near 90, and that's a little below average for this time of the year, and that's not bad at all. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Can catch us this evening on AB... That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.